Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we are starting on the interior. All our paneling is on for our shell, our body construction, so it's now the time to start on the interior. So let me show you what we're starting with. We have to seal all these light gaps. So every seam where these wall panels connect, we are going to seal. Then we have to cut out our roof vent. And then we're gonna start with insulation and then the floor. Let's get into it and we'll start with our roof.
Okay, it has been a few days, but all our insulation is still up and attached, which is good. It was the 4th of July, Independence Day, so I hope you all had a good Independence Day and have all your fingers from fireworks. But it's time for us to get the floors on, the walls, the whole shebang. So this is the plan. These are laminate floors from Home Depot and Lowe's. They are about a dollar a square foot. It's one of the cheaper ways I figured out how to do this and I like the color and the scratch proof, waterproof, all that good stuff. So that's the plan for the floor. We have some darker wood for the walls. I'm going with it with the walls because I think it's going to be uh, easier. As in, when we get to our windows here, I was worried about doing a full panel, um, just like a four by eight wall panel, because if I get it wrong, I have to buy a whole new panel. With this, if I get it cut slightly off, it doesn't matter. I'll just get a new piece. And then our back door is going to be the same thing, I hope problem is weight up here because these things are heavier than just like a four by eight sheet so we're gonna see how this goes we still will have to put our windows in our doors and our roof vent which I think we'll do that after we hit the floors so we're gonna get started in here I'll time-lapse it the majority of the floor and I have to do these two last little strips which if I had a table saw it'd be much easier but I don't so I have to get it guided up with a hand saw circular saw and in the process of leaning over there I'm assuming or there and putting the floor in I broke my phone so yeah subscribe so I can afford a new one but I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut and put on kind of really killed the mood and then I'll start on the walls or the front or the back door, or something. Our floor is in. We're gonna let it sit for a bit before we do some more work to it, but now it's time to install this. This is our fan. The number one regret I learned, I saw reading people building their own trailer was they didn't put a good enough or big enough fan. So I made sure to go big. So this is a star vent 14 inch hole, full fan, five, five mode, something or another. It was very highly rated, that's all I can tell you. We'll have to wire it up at some point. I'll explain the wiring of everything I want to do in this trailer at some point. But it's uh, basically a lot. And uh, yeah, we'll get to it. Let's get this mounted. So I'm using this butyl tape from Home Depot. It was about seven bucks for 50 feet. It's much cheaper than anything else I found online. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna go around here once because I'm also gonna caulk it. But uh, I believe this butyl tape never really firms up. It just kind of stays sloppy. So I already messed this up once, but when you go to put this on, you want this vent to open to the front of your trailer. That way if you leave it open accidentally going down the road, the wind will push it closed versus ripping it off. Now, we're 
knock all the holes, put our screws through. the back door is done almost so the woods on it actually looks pretty good I'll get a picture of it or video of it lowered um, but we have to mount our struts so to actually figure out these struts here there's a calculator online of course link will be in the description below so we have to weigh our back door so I'm gonna put the camera on a tripod show you how I do it uh, so you get a visual representation and then after that we make the calculation of length of strut and weight of how much it can lift. So let's get to that. Okay, so how this works is we have a scale down here, just your typical bathroom scale. Then we have our door and we're going to measure about when the door is right about at its, you know, level where the most weight is. That's what we're going to measure on the scale. So we have a board on the scale, we have this pole to get us this distance, and then I have another board on top to kind of distribute it. Now let's see what we end up at. About 42 pounds. So using that calculator online, we're in the right spot. Just touching right here, which I mean, I touched the trailer, so I'm pretty content because you're not gonna walk around and hit your head. But check this out. This is completely supported by the struts. I mean, and this is, this is effortless to lift it up and just push it all the way up and that's it. So let's get, our mounts here let's get these screwed in and then it's done well I did some calculation wrong because this comes down comes down and then I max out or I max out the strut so I got my math off somewhere so I need to redo these mounts up here and determine how much farther up they need to be um, because there's just too much travel. So I'm gonna figure that out. Well, I was worried about this when I did the math again. Um, the struts I have are not strong enough for this door. So it's very easy to lift up, but you let go and that's about it so i need to get stronger struts or reduce the weight of the door and the door's done so we're gonna get stronger struts i had to move them up this is where they were and it lifted it up but it didn't close because let me close this and show you the good news is this is really easy to open and shut now but if i peek in here we only have 
probably about an inch of travel. Um, so I don't know if it's gonna fit, period. Like I could move the brackets down again and see if it would open it all the way, but I don't think it will. So I think we're just gonna leave it as is and get stronger struts. And we're gonna move on to the rest of the trailer because we, we have to get a lot of work done. We're kind of falling behind here. Just like this, this episode ends here. We still have a lot to do on the interior. We have the entire roof to do, and these little pieces here and there around the doors. But overall, it's coming together. We're installing everything using these rib nuts here uh, because they're removable, not permanent. The acoustics in this thing aren't great, so I'm gonna step out. Yeah, we still have the roof to do. We have to run wiring. We have a bunch we still need to get done, but. It's coming along, it's coming along. In this episode, we did use a bunch of insulation and a bunch of flooring. I'll put the pricing up here of what I used. It wasn't cheap. The rib nut, the rib nut gun, uh, the screws, it, it turned out to be quite a bit. The hot knife, tools, everything. So, but it looks good. I think it looks good. And we're gonna see, obviously, if it turns out how I want it to. So, I right, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.